Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to take care of this. As I said in one of the previous episodes, the BMW motorcycle handguards are pretty good. They offer a lot of protection when you ride on the normal road, 70 miles an hour in near freezing temperatures, and they'll protect you from the wind, rain, elements in general. However, when you take it off-road, which I intend to do with this bike, the OEM handguards are no longer up to the task. So I went shopping and I chose the Barkbusters VPS. The factory BMW clutch and brake lever have built-in failure points which will make sure that you don't lose your levers completely when you crash your bike with the OEM handguards. With these, however, it is highly unlikely that you will lose your brake or clutch lever when you crash the bike. The main reason is because the, behind the plastic covers that you see on the bike, there's a real solid aluminum backbone. Now that I covered the advantages offered by these handguards, I will now show you how I put it up. But first, let me show you what's in the package. So now that the aluminum uh, protector is on the bike, uh, we have to prepare the covers. The Barkbuster VPS is made up of uh, two pieces, a bigger one and the smaller one. This one is pure aerodynamic, making sure that uh, the wind is deflected away from your hands and your hands stay protected uh, from rain and cold. So these two will uh, be assembled together with a couple of uh, screws I'm going to fit in. Just a little bit of the tip is out and then the next one just until this comes out a little bit. Align the holes screw this in, screw this in as well, there's one, tighten the other one, 
sure they are tight but not too tight. Don't want the plastic to break. All right, now that we have the aluminum part in, I'm gonna work on the attachment. All right, so as you can probably see, I cannot fit this uh, piece from the front or from the top or even from the sides. So I'm gonna have to take apart the clutch reservoir and move it a little bit so I can uh, uh, fit this to the back here. I'm gonna take the this one off the cover and the uh, fog lights assembly on the switch take it off now I have these two screws loosen it as you can see now the entire assembly with the the mirror and everything is moving this through here and screw back the I will adjust this later make sure that the ergonomics are correct and everything is in the right place I think it's pretty close. I'm gonna make sure this is tight and then I'm gonna put back the assembly the fog lights uh, switch assembly right, tight Okay, so the next step is to fit the bracket onto the handlebar. I'm gonna use two screws and they are different sizes. So for the top one, I'm gonna use the short screw and for the bottom, I'm gonna use the long screw, like so. Start them by hand and then use the handle key. to get them close Okay, so now that it's, this one is uh, close, I'm gonna go to the front and uh, fit the plastic cover that I prepared. And then I'll come back to this one. So I'm gonna take in the plastic protector, put it on the bike, like so. Make sure the holes are aligned. There's one screw here, one screw here, and then the factory OEM that I will fit there. Change to the T25 and put this one back in. Check again, make sure everything is tight. All right, coming back to the rear. Now we're going to check for clearance, making sure this does not hit uh, the gas tank. Okay, check in for clearance. Everything back together. Okay, 
fog light switch assembly is back in. And now the final touches, making sure once again that we have clearance with the gas tank and tighten everything back together. sure everything is extra tight don't want to have anything moving all right and the last step uh, the bar ends making sure this is tight also and that's it and the last the final checks there's clearance on both sides. And that's it. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today for this installation video of the Barkbusters VPS and guards for the BMW R1200 GS Adventure. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.